the third and final piece I want to do for you today is, strangely enough, the tune is written by Philip Paul Bliss. It is, the melody is uh, for It Is Well With My Soul, is titled Villa du Havre, and we, we've heard of this uh, story I told about Philip Paul Bliss. Well, it seems that Horatio Spafford went through the same thing. So not only do they share a song, uh, they share a hymn, but they've also shared a tragedy of the same way. That's pretty powerful. Um, this is the story of It Is Well With My Soul. Uh, this is words by Horatio G. Spafford. So here we go. This is the verse it's based on. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of all. Psalm 34, 19. When the great Chicago fire consumed the Windy City in 1871, Horatio G. Spafford, an attorney heavily invested in real estate, lost a fortune. About that time, his only son, age four, succumbed to scarlet fever. Horatio drowned, drowned his grief in work, pouring himself into rebuilding the city and assisting in 100,000 assisting the 100,000 who had been left homeless. In November of 1873, he decided to take his wife and daughters to Europe. Horatio was close to DL Moody and Ira Sankey. This is another uh, interesting thing. They're both the uh, Moody and Sankey team. Uh, he wanted and he wanted to visit their evangelistic meetings in England. Uh, then enjoy a vacation. So, interestingly enough, M Moody and Sankey were uh, an evangelist team that, that did a lot of touring and such, and I think in the States and also in Europe. And they were kind of like the Wesleyans a little bit, which uh, they also uh, did music as well. They also did hymns. And they were the big they were the big thing to be around. You want to be, it's like Billy Graham Crusades and such. They wanted to be around that so a lot of people want to be that so philip paul bliss was part of it and so was horatio spafford who was also a part of it as well so when an urgent matter detained this when an urgent matter detained horatio in new york he decided to send his wife anna and their four daughters maggie tanetta annie and bessie on ahead as he saw them settle into a cabin aboard the luxurious French liner, the Villa du Havre. Interesting. An unease filled his mind, and he moved them to a room closer to the bow of the ship. Then he said goodbye, promising to join them soon. During the small during the small hours of November night of November twenty second, nineteen seventy three, as the Phil Villa du Havre glided over the smooth seas, the passengers were jolted from their bunks. The ship had collided with an iron sailing vessel, and water poured in like Niagara. The Villa du Havre, titled dangerously uh, tilted, excuse me, tilted dangerously. Screams, prayers, and oaths merged into a nightmare of unmeasured terror. Passengers clung to posts tumbled through darkness and were swept away by powerful currents of the icy ocean. Loved ones fell from each other's grasp and disappeared into foaming blackness. Within two hours, the mighty ship vanished beneath the waters. The, two, the 226 fatalities included Maggie, Tanetta, Annie, and Bessie. Miss, Mrs. Spafford was found nearly unconscious, clinging to a piece of the wreckage. When the 47 survivors landed in Cardiff, Wales, she cabled her husband, saved alone. Horatio immediately booked passage to join his wife, and right on a cold December night, the captain called him aside and said, I believe we are now passing over the place where the Villa de Havre went down. Spafford went to his cabin, but found it hard to sleep. He said to himself, it is well, the will of God be done. He later wrote his famous hymn based on these words. So here we go. We're going to look at that. Let me see if I can get some... Uh, look that up here. Peace Like a River. It's also known as When Peace Like a River. Oh, 
we got a choir. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. That's the hymn. We'll just sing it with the choir. I don't know if we can hear it or not. We have some room. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Make sure I can read it. All right. So, how long is this? We'll have to probably go over and over and over again. Right? Let's go. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is <laughs> with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. We'll do verse 4. And, oh, this, then, Lord, haste the day when the faith shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound, and the Lord shall descend, even so. It is well with my soul, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. They did verses 1 and 4 there to give you an idea. There's... The thing about hymns are, is the, the music is one, right? Music is one. The verses, <laughs> many as you'd like. <laughs> so we can only pick a certain amount. <laughs> so, but uh, thank you for watching and appreciate it. And if you want to see more of these, please subscribe. And I'll do the best I can. So maybe we can get some better quality. Maybe I can, you know give you a better performance but right now this is what this is what we're getting so god bless have a good one